broken into. What we got a lot of equipment. To ease your suspicions. An explanation of what you're taking pictures for and why. I, I'm taking pictures because it's perfectly legal for me to do See, so. See, that's so that, just because it's a just because what? it's legal doesn't mean it's not suspicious. Okay, so it's what suspicious. But what but to, will but it take to for you. To Sir, just so you understand, your responses are what make me even more suspicious because you're immediately don't difficult. You, don't touch you, sir. you get immediately difficult. Put your hands up there. I, you don't need to consent to this. Uh, 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 Welcome back to We the People University. My name is Baya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff's deputy. Today's video is brought to you by the YouTube channel Media Watch. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please make sure you go and do so. Today, we're going to take a look at the Des Moines Police Department in Iowa. You're not going to believe this one, folks. It's going to get ugly. We're going to dissect this one a little bit, and there's going to be a follow up at the end of the video. So please make sure you watch the entire video. Let's jump in. Hi. What, what are you doing? Taking pictures. Uh, just random things. Okay, just trying to figure out. It's just kind of a little suspicious back here. Is it? A little bit. Is this Market Street back here? What's that? Is this Market Street back here? Uh, the Market District? Okay, they're doing some redevelopment over here. Okay. I was just trying, just curious. You're just. Are you okay now? Police vehicles, personal police vehicles. We've had. It's just suspicious. Just ask it. Okay. Well, are you are you okay now, or are you still suspicious? I am a little suspicious. You're taking pictures of police officers' personal vehicles. What will satisfy your suspicion? How, how will that just determine whether or not I'm suspicious? I'm, I'm just asking, dude, and I don't understand the difficulty as you're recording me. I mean, yeah. I get that. Yeah. I just, it's strange that people are back here taking pictures of our cars, and I don't... Is it okay, though? Is it legal? You're one of those folks, aren't you? You're one of those folks, aren't you? You're one of those folks, aren't you? I'm just you're asking. folks that just challenge everything, and rather than... How am I challenging something by taking pictures? How how is this? I, I don't know. That's why I don't know why you're back here taking pictures. Of you, you don't know, and you've asked, asked and I've told you. you, but you haven't given any yes, I have. Sorry. What's, what's going on? Hi. Hi. What's you going tell on? You me what's going on. Well, no, there's I'm somebody called over here. I mean, this guy's confronted me. Okay. Constant, sir. <coughs> confronted. Confronted. I, I, you're taking pictures of vehicles that are unmarked police vehicles. Right. All I ask you is why are you taking pictures? You're getting license plates, all that stuff. And you've been asking, rather than just tell me what the pictures but are is for. is it okay? Well, no, because they're unmarked police vehicles. That's why you're back here and it's suspicious. We've had a couple cars stolen okay. from this real lot. We've had cars take, broken into. We got a lot of equipment. To ease your suspicions. An explanation of what you're taking pictures for and why. I, I'm taking pictures because it's perfectly legal for me to do See, so. See, that's that, just because it's a just because it's legal doesn't mean it's not suspicious. Okay, so it's what suspicious. But, but what to, will but it take to for re you to... Sir, just so you understand, your responses are what make me even more suspicious because you're immediately don't difficult. You, don't touch you, sir. You get immediately what's difficult. Consent to Put your hands up there. I, you don't need to consent to uh, That's not against the law. Yes, it is. It is. Okay. Who are you? What's your name? My What's name your is name? Sergeant Curtis. Okay, Sergeant. 4802. What's illegal about? Here's my badge number. What's illegal about? What is illegal about is nothing. What is illegal about is nothing. What is illegal about is nothing. Okay. But you're acting suspicious. Okay. And then when he asks you if you've got any idea on you, and then you start looking running. Cars. Look and what you're acting cars? suspicious, yeah. and you're filming Being cars. cars. Angie is who flagged me down. In cars. I didn't. Okay. Let's be clear uh, about we'll in cars or not. Okay, I'm talking right now, please. You want to talk to her? Yeah, see if you can get a hold of her. How come you don't have any ID on you? Why do I need ID to be a pedestrian? Mm -hmm. What's your name? What's your name? Lieutenant Leo. Okay, Lieutenant Leo. What's your name? I don't have to give my name. You don't? No. Okay. 
Actually, it does have to be. Uh, what's your name? Actually do. What's the crime? Suspicious. You're back here that's taking the, that's pictures. That's a crime? As I is to that a you. felony or a misdemeanor, sir? Where in the code is, is suspicion a crime? Who crossed you that you have to act like this when all we're doing is asking simple questions because you're taking pictures of unmarked police vehicles, undercover Inside police cars. vehicles, okay, squad so, cars, so you're not area back the here. What? Cite me a code. Exactly. After being asked to cite a code, notice the moment of silence because there is no code. Let's read this really quickly. Brown v. Texas. The Supreme Court held that the Fourth Amendment covers all police seizures, even those as brief as preventing a person from walking away. The Fourth Amendment requires that such seizures be based on specific and objective facts that create a compelling public interest in the seizure that outweighs the individual's expectation of privacy. In this case, the court held that the police officers lack any reasonable suspicion based on objective facts to allow them to detain Brown and question him. Since the seizure was not lawful, the Texas statute requiring Brown to identify himself did not apply. And if you're not familiar with Brown v. Texas, this entire case is based on suspicion. Two men walking out of an alley believed to be in a drug area. The cops see one of the men, which is Brown. They stop him and request ID. He refused. He's then arrested. And then this case makes its way all the way up to the Supreme Court, who stated in this case, it was a Fourth Amendment violation because there were no objective facts proving that Brown did anything wrong. Suspicion is neither a misdemeanor or a felony. So with that being said, we see the lieutenant conduct an illegal search while a man is illegally detained, violating his Fourth Amendment rights. Now, the search could have been legal if he was placed under arrest due to this case law. This is a case where a police officer pulled over and arrested Robinson for operating an automobile without a valid permit. The officer then frisked Robinson and discovered a crumpled cigarette package containing 14 vials of heroin in his pocket. The Supreme Court upheld the search, distinguishing between the searches done to discover concealed weapons and those conducted coextensive with an arrest. Justice Reinquist argued, since the officer did not conduct the search in an abusive or extreme manner, and because he acted consistent with the authority vested in a police officer when making an arrest, his actions were legitimate. So what does that have to do with this case? No arrests are being made because there are no crimes being broken. Suspicion is not a law, according to Brown v. Texas. You can't search him because no arrest was made. There is no probable cause. There's no reasonable articulable for suspicion. There is nothing. You're going to later hear the detective admit many people come to this building and they take pictures. But why was it so problematic when this man began to take pictures? Because they knew who he was. They knew he was an individual that held them accountable. But not only did they mess up with the entire search and seizure of himself and his equipment, they are caught on camera admitting several times that he committed no crime. So what organization do you belong to that well, making you be difficult? Problem. What is it that you're, what is the issue with you? As far as I know, what is the no issue? organization. I, I don't know. He I don't know if it's one of those. Guy. Just go, go, go away. Just go away. You're done. Me? Yeah, go away. You're no. Done. No, sir. Well, you're not allowed out in front of this building. How's that? I'm out in front of this building. That's right. This is a public sidewalk. Then move on down the sidewalk. It's down a public road. sidewalk, sir. All are right. you releasing me? Am I free to go? Yep. Okay, then. I'm free to stay as well. And so are we. Okay. Actually, you're not so free let's to it, stay. That's loitering. Why is it? You're no, loitering. it's not, sir. Yes, it is. Because I am not doing anything wrong. Listen, we're, loitering this requires what? Which, are you, are you, what's your name? I'm a lieutenant. What's lieutenant. Your name? What's so your what, name? What, what I got the body academy camera going. Did you go to? What's your name? What police academy did you go you're to? You're loitering. You're required to give me your information. Uh, what is your loitering, name? Loitering, it requires Otherwise, I'm going what to arrest else? you. You're going Otherwise, to arrest, I'm going to arrest you. For, Josh, if you want, I can just loitering. make a suspicious activity case. We can confiscate the, the camera until we have a reason yeah, for what we're that's doing. Good. Until we have a reason yeah, for what we're doing. Until we have a reason for what we're doing. Just get his information. We'll get your information. I'll confiscate the camera until we know you, you have a legitimate purpose. What's that? Yes. You're yes. Yes. I'm about loitering. suspicious activity. You're will. You're suspicious yes. and you're loitering. We've yes. had cars stolen out of yes. this lot. Okay. It's suspicious. So I, get, I have no have problem. Am I detained at this point? Yes, you are yes. now okay. at this point. Do you have your ID? I don't, sir. Put your hands up there. I'm going to patch you. Okay. Down. Can I put this? I've already been patted down. But... What is this? That appears to be a vape, if I had to guess. Is that, would that be correct, or is that something with your photography? Oh, it's a photography thing? No, it's vape. Is it? I can't quite tell. It's a battery and a battery. Okay. Do you want me to... I 
coming down here looking for a confrontation? No. Yeah, I wasn't. Why are you I taking wasn't. pictures of this, this license plate? Why, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Yes or no? Did you? I don't want to be held against my will. Then why are you down here taking pictures? At no point did I want to be why held against my will. Why are you down here taking will. pictures? Can't answer that, can you? You got his name and all that? Yeah, I'm going to make a suspicious activity case. Put the camera on property until he can give me a logical right. reason as to why I got why somebody he's coming down with a camera to take a picture okay. of him, too. Oh, I've got all the. I've got all that. I'll do the case and take pictures. Oh, okay. Perfect. You practice so we don't need. I didn't. No, no, no. Hey, Mr. Robbins, you practice law enforcement. That's practicing the law. It's not practicing the law. Well, here do I, are we confiscating this until we know what reason he's down here no, in the suspicious we, we activity? Have every, we have every reason. You have a warrant. No, I'm going to confiscate it for suspicious can, activity you until you can. Because find, you think it, it was involved in 724. Can you show me out at 25 East first? Yeah. I'll get a case I number will. for suspicious but was it involved activity. In a crime? Well, you, you, you actually did exactly what you accomplished. You came down here, you made a scene. From the cop's own mouth, this man is not here to harm anyone. He's here to cause a scene. And in this particular case, in which the way they claim he did so, it's not illegal. Uh, you can call 4816 from the lobby desk and they can come down and meet you or you can go up to their office and you can make a formal complaint. Um, I know you were recording me as we spoke in regards to this. Again, I just was curious what you're down here for. It's a beautiful old building. People take pictures in front of it all the time, but a lot of people don't take pictures of our vehicles and things like that. Thus the reason for the suspicious nature of what you were doing. I know you're under no obligation to ever respond to me because you would wish to challenge authority today and be a problem. That's my assumption. Your keys. Is your vehicle parked down here someplace? Did you drive here? How'd you do that without Did a driver's running? license? You don't have, oh, sir, you might want your readers. You don't have a driver's license? Someone ran them? Thank you. I hope, I hope your driver is somewhere nearby waiting for you. Have a nice day, sir. The beautiful thing about this situation is that this citizen did not take this land down. This guy obtained an attorney and he fought back. Check out the trial. I'm going to put the link to the video in the description section. Also a link to the article explaining further that you guys can click on and make sure you read it. This is the way you do it. And make sure when cops step on your rights, you fight back. With that being said, we the People University signing off. You can't, you can't detain it and just open it up and seize it and you can't detain it and keep it forever. And it seems to me uh, on this on this record, uh, the officers have uh, stepped way over that line. So, uh, well, I would say I agree with you that it is that line of cases that it could be reasonable suspicion um, that they can be held uh, for reasonable suspicion. It was a few days that oh, the, the, per the person can't. For the person, well, the person can only be held for the for the reasonable length of a Terry stop, and then must be allowed to go. But if there's suspicion that extends to the luggage, then the, then the luggage can be detained right. uh, in order to apply for a warrant. Right. But Mr. And but 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 Youngblood said, "Well, I'll get around to that." Meanwhile, you don't get your camera. That strikes me. I mean, that there's no clearly established right to do that, is there? I, I would suggest um, to Your Honor that what, what Officer Youngblood did was to investigate uh, Mr. Robbins more before he decided to try to uh, go deeper into his phone and, and avoided actually uh, going further into a He seized into a it. He seized somebody's property. He seized it and then he, in, uh, he investigated Mr. Robbins. He learned that Mr. Robbins likes to post his grievances on YouTube. And his suspicions at that point were allayed as to the stalking behavior. He realized he is a person who is just uh, interested in, in critiquing police and, and other individuals, and that allayed his suspicion. And so he gave the phone back because he didn't he have had, any more he had, he had only one reason to have that camera and phone in his hands, and that is, is, is if he could develop probable cause to believe there was evidence of a crime in there. And the only way he could get that, what way he could get that was to spend five days looking into Mr. Robbins himself. He had to get a warrant to look inside uh, the phone and the camera. Otherwise, it's not his property and it's not the state's property. And, uh, and, and it's I, not the city's property, it's Robbins' property.